Welcome to 3 Minute Thoughts. So I've been having idle ponderings on proportions. That's kind of alliterative. Maybe I could add some more P's in there. But what brings this up is of course my wound, which when it first got measured by the doctors was three centimeters by three and a half centimeters by eight centimeters deep. And that was its largest size and that was a month and a half, that was over a month ago. And it shrunk since then, and the last measurement, I'm not sure if I fully believe the last measurement, was one centimeter by two centimeters by 1.7. So, because the previous week was 3.3. So, back when it was, or 3.7. So back when it was 3.7, uh, again, one by two by 3.7, a uh, friend said, hey, it's gone to half its size. And I thought, no, 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 that's technically not true. It's actually eighth its size because it's volume, not just length, width, whatever. But I don't even think that number is, I don't even think that number is correct. I think it's actually, if you do the math, it comes closer to a third in size. But uh, that was where my thoughts went to is, again, proportions and, and how some things, large, small, whatnot. And it reminded me of a new concept that's popping up, I noticed, in one-page role-playing game systems. And that is you have traits or attributes that work for both the upper and lower. So let's say the trait is size and you do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you want to do something like big, like tall, like reaching things, then you have to roll below your number for your size. But if you want to do things small, like if you want to like go under countertops or things like that, you're going to roll above your size. So it gives a... It doesn't say one trait is better than the other being big or small, but it shows you that there's advantages to both. And that is actually true for any kind of trait or characteristic, is there are positive and negatives to each, which, I mean, it doesn't really quite go with proportions, except that previously when it was two by three and a half, or three by three and a half by eight, I could hide a roll of quarters in there. Not that I would do that because that would have been very painful. Yeah, I'm not really sure what one has to do with the other, but it's just where my rabbit hole of mind went, is thinking, especially with writing, no trait is technically really bad, or should be seen as, like, the ultimate, because anything that you have, all good traits have bad aspects to them, and all bad traits have good aspects to them. Yeah, it was a really weird logical jump to get between the two. But that's a good thing, and a bad thing. I just don't know how yet. And those are my thoughts. Kudos to you for watching this, or it's a bad thing? I don't know. Anyway, have a good one.